question here is that we need to implement BGP route filtering to restrict the routes advertised to a specific BGP neighbor, describe the different techniques and uh, use cases and advantages, disadvantages, right? So we have a router that is connected into one of our autonomous system and it has formed the BGP pairing with some other routers, maybe in the same autonomous system, maybe in different autonomous system. Could be like AS200, AS300, could be like in the same years as well. And we are advertising certain prefixes to these devices and we need to control the prefixes. We need to limit the prefixes that we are advertising. So what techniques are available? Uh, the basic technique that is available, the most common technique that we can use is to use the prefix list. Uh, what we can do, we can go on our router number one and we can match the prefixes that we want to advertise. Uh, we can match the prefixes that we want to deny, like we don't want to advertise. We can permit, we can deny the prefixes that we want to permit or deny in a prefix list and then we can apply that prefix list in the outbound direction with the particular neighbor. So we are going to create the prefix list, IP, prefix list, name, then permit or deny, then whatever network you want to permit or deny. And then we can apply that prefix list with that particular neighbor router. It is easy to configure. It is very easy to configure. It is very easy to manage. Uh, we get the control on what prefixes we can advertise or what prefixes we cannot advertise. It's very easy. And we can use the same prefix list like, you know, on different tasks such as, for example, path manipulation. However, the disadvantage with this prefix list concept is that we cannot actually, you know, do very robust matching. For example, we wanted to only and only advertise even prefixes to here or prefixes to here. That kind of thing is not possible in the prefix list. Second technique that we can use is called the access control list or ACL. We can use a standard or extended ACL. We can match based on like, you know, source IP. We can match based on destination IP. We can control what prefixes I want to advertise to what neighbor. We can create the ACL. We can define the parameters in the ACL. And then we can apply that exactly the same way as we apply in the prefix list for the neighbor in out direction. With the help of ACLs also, we can actually configure route filtering in case of BGP. However, prefix lists are much more common uh, as compared to the ACL. When we just want to like, you know, uh, filter basic prefixes, like we can, here we can match that even odd prefixes, like we can match if a prefix has an odd number in the third octet, then I want to advertise it. If a prefix has an even number in the fourth octet, then I want to advertise. We can do that kind of matching in access control list. So we get much more like, you know, uh, better control uh, with, for this thing in ACL. However, in the prefix list, we can match and permit or deny prefixes based on CIDR, which we don't get actually on here. So both the techniques has its own advantages and disadvantages. And the best of them all, we can use this concept called route map. Very popular, very commonly utilized concept in, in, in BGP, we can use route map to perform path manipulation. We can use the route map to perform filtering as well. So route maps like uh, route maps are more like, you know, if else condition statement. So if this condition matches, then take this action else. If this condition matches, then take this action else. If this condition matches, take this action. So route map is more like an if else concept in this way we can define like, okay, what conditions to match and then what prefix needs to be advertised and block. In the route map, we can match prefixes based on ACL. In the route map, we can match prefixes based on the prefix list. In route map, we can match the prefixes based on other criteria such as, for example, AS path list, community list, community tags. We have a lot of criteria based on which we can match the prefixes and block them in the route map, which is like much more better option as we get in the ACL or prefix list. And anyway, we can use ACL and prefix list in the route map as well. So route map is much more uh, commonly utilized technique to perform path manipulation and filtering. We can use these AS path and community filtering 
separately as well. We can use like AS path ACL to AS path access control list to perform the filtering. We can also use this thing called community, which is more like a tag community list based filtering. We can also perform. So AS path ACL we can create. This ACL is going to match the prefixes based on the AS number in the AS path list and it can permit or deny based on the same. And the community list is going to match the prefixes based on the tag, the community tag that we can set as per our requirement. Based on that, we can also perform the filtering. In AS path filtering, if you use AS path filtering, it becomes easy to filter the prefixes just based on the AS number. So if I am advertising the prefixes to this neighbor, these are the only, the, this AS, then uh, these are the only prefixes that I'm going to advertise. And if I'm advertising the prefixes to this AS, then these are the only prefixes that I want to advertise. Those kind of thing, that kind of thing is possible in the AS path access control list. Community list is more like a community is a tag that we actually add onto the prefix. Communities, we have like well-known community, we have defined community. In the well-known community, we have like uh, no advertise, no export, local layers, like internet. We have different well-known communities. Then we have normal tags such as 100, 200, 300, just normal tag, route tags that we have in a typical uh, IGP routes as well. So those things we can, uh, we can add a tag into the prefixes and then based on that tag, we can permit or deny the prefixes as well. So community based tagging can also be done in the border gateway protocol. Uh, we can also control like how many maximum number of prefixes we can advertise to the neighbor. We can control like uh, for on per neighbor basis, we can control like, okay, this is the maximum number of prefixes that can be received from a particular neighbor. I can go on the neighboring device and I can configure that this is the number of prefixes that I am supposed to receive from this neighbor. And if I receive more than that prefixes, either I'm going to, you know, tear down the neighborship, reset the neighborship, or I'm going to uh, give a warning or something like that. So these are some common techniques that we can use to perform route filtering in border gateway protocol. Each of these filtering techniques has its own advantages, disadvantages. So one must choose uh, a proper route filtering techniques as per their use cases.